my my name's Fred Miller, wife Chris. Um, just a tale that uh, you know, yeah, with butchers in Queen Street with Basil. Um, the tale we have about Robbie, really. Um, it goes back a long while ago, twenty odd years ago. I think it's he forty now. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, when we first met him, unknowing to him who he was, unknowing to us who he was, he was about twelve or thirteen. And uh, we used to know his mum, Jan, socially. We didn't know a second name. And this is the reason I say that. You'll understand why in a minute. Um, we uh, we used to go out with them socially, perhaps once a month, once every six weeks. And one of the dues we went to, Robbie was a member of the uh, North Staff Operatic Society, if I can remember that's who it was. But he went. We went to see a show, and. Um, one Saturday night and all of us, a gang of us who used to go out socially and uh, we saw Robbie performing there. Anyway, a few weeks later, it was, we used to organise a theme, uh, same as they, uh, Jan's mum organised a show which Robbie was in. So next time it was my turn to do something and we organised a barbecue at home. Anyway, <clears throat> They all come round, we had a great time and one thing and another. And Robbie um, came in the kitchen to Chris and just said to to Chris, Would you like me help you wash up? And she says, Yeah, come in. Anyway, she stood there talking to him and she's the best one to tell this to her. Yeah, really? Yeah, we I said how much I enjoyed the show. <clears throat> and I also said he got the, the audience in the palm of his hand. Whatever he did, he mustn't pack in show business. <laughs> so uh, that's well, that. Well, unknowing Sirois, years later, there used to be, there's a customer who comes in, still comes in now and again. We got chatting one day, and we knew there was Jan and um, Graham Wilkes, his wife, and one or two more, and. Um, the lad who came, used to come in the shop used to have a lot to do with uh, Robbie and Jonathan Wilkes. We got talking one day about you know about you know what he was doing and one thing and another, and then we stood here, we stood here like, talking, mm -hmm. and yes. then you know behind the counter, like and then all of a sudden, this guy and I've forgotten his name now. I know he, this guy said, um, "Oh, Robbie." Uh, What's it, you know, because he knew we knew Jan and one thing or other. And Robbie Williams, oh yeah, and um, all we knew him was then was Robbie. So all of a sudden, when Robbie Williams came out, we knew he is, and one thing or another, we just stood, stood there gobsmacked. We just looked at one another and just caught, started to laugh because we reflected then back to what Chris said to you in the kitchen at the barbecue. Stick with this, you've got a lot of talent, and then you know, we'll go a long you'll go a long way. way anyway. He did go a long yeah. way, and he's done really well. And he's you know, he's, he's, he's you can take your hat off to him. He's, oh, he's, you know, I, I can, he's I will say lad. that he's, a nice yeah, man. He's, he's, he's his family are fantastic. Mm, Jan's yeah. a lovely yeah, person, his mum. And you know he, he he's a nice lad, you know, and he was really, really, he was a really nice lad, wasn't he? Mm. Well, I'm not saying that, but I mean he was dead. He was, you know, he was really, really came over. He was a lovely lad, but they were a lovely family all along, you know. So. Because my son, who knew, knew who Robbie Williams was long before we knew he was a, a you know, a star, and um, he was saying like, uh, you know, you you did the dishes with him, Mum. I said, no, no, it's great, right? He did the dishes with me. <laughs> so that's the joke of the family, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. And that's about it. I mean, yeah. anyway, wish yeah. him a very happy birthday and good health to him and his yeah. family. Yeah. Okay.